Hi, I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome. I'm going to do just a really quick video on changing the maintenance cartridge on a Pro 1000. Now please do me a favor, hit like and you know the business, hit subscribe. That way at least I know people are out there listening to what I'm saying and you'll get notified when I do other videos. I'm not selling anything. I'm just doing this purely for enjoyment and to help us all along so that you can get out there and make your camera your best excuse for adventure. So really quick, there's only two reasons that I can think of real quick why you would want to change the maintenance cartridge. And that's because you get a 1720 error code right here, which is basically telling you that the maintenance cartridge is full. Now when this happens, the printer is actually going to shut all the way down. So you're not going to be able to do anything else Actually what happened with me was I was going on to update my firmware to make sure that it was updated and when I turned it on and said the maintenance cartridge was full. The other reason is, is you may want to be moving your printer and when you do that and you ship it again you will have to use a couple of maintenance cartridges to empty out the system before you actually ship it or move it um, more than just slide it like I have here. While you have your printer out, you may want to just sit there and take a, a, a moist cloth and wipe the outside of it and the back of it down. Make sure that it's clean. You don't need to do anything inside. But let's take a look at where the maintenance cartridge goes. This is obviously the back of the printer and the area where the maintenance cartridge goes in is right here as you're facing the back on the left hand side. I just put a piece of brown paper back there just in case anything leaked out. Uh, we'll find out whether it leaks or not um, or we end up spilling anything. Just open up the door and there's a small uh, blue lever right back here. I'm kind of doing this upside down so um, just pull that up and reach in and slide the maintenance cartridge out. And as you can see there's really no mess in here. and um, that's about it. But you can definitely feel there is some liquid in there. The big thing is, is don't touch anything in here and on the new cartridge which you're going to open up here in a second um, don't touch anything either. I would highly suggest that these are not really expensive so you may want to order one of these um, prior because there's not you know any huge warning like there is with the ink cartridges that it's going to stop and like I said once it does fill up it completely stops this is the new ink cartridge or the uh, not cartridge but the maintenance cartridge and once again you don't want to touch in any of these areas and simply take this put it down here like this and we're going to take and just slide it in there then make sure that you actually push the little blue locking lever back down because it will not happen by itself then go ahead and shut the door after you've installed the maintenance cartridge you still have the 1720 just hit OK and the system will go through its normal gyrations that's one thing I'll say about this. It seems like um, th this gets scratched pretty easy. Why? I'm not sure, but no matter what I used, this piece of plastic is honestly a piece of crap. As you can see, I have plenty of ink notifications, ink low. So what I personally do, since we're talking about the replacing stuff, is when one of these comes up or it says ink low I use this as a warning to actually order new inks or buy a new ink for that and I do it almost immediately then when an ink runs out what happens is it will stop printing and then I have the new ink ready to go after you're done if you just want to check it you want to see how to check the maintenance cartridge level info just hit here and as you can see we have an uh, absolutely empty cartridge. If you're going to transport your printer you're going to want to go through the prep 
and that's going to take a few cartridges, maintenance cartridges, to empty out the whole system. Go to maintenance and prepare to. Uh, when, <laughs> now I'm looking at this prepare to transportation. Uh, not the best English in the world. Hit OK and just go ahead and proceed and follow the instructions. While I'm in here, while I'm playing around with this, I'm going to go back in and actually do a firmware update. This is fairly simple if you're connected to the internet. Go to various settings, go to device settings, go to firmware update, check for current version, current version 2.05, and that's what I already have. You may want to do these things while you're thinking about it and changing your maintenance cartridge. And that's just about it. Sorry about the jet noise, but like I said, this was just a quick down and dirty of changing the maintenance cartridge. When you move the printer, be gentle with it. Don't tilt it any certain ways. Just keep it nice and flat, twist it around, do it the easy way you can, get somebody to help you if you need be. But this is just about as simple as it gets with this. I just wanted to get this information out there so you can see how it was done. Remember, please hit like. Just take a second and hit like and hit um, subscribe if you would so I know you're out there so I keep making these. My name's Rusty Nelson and remember, my camera is my best excuse for adventure and I really hope to see you out there.